So what does it take to be a successful wife today? I spoke with 200 women all across the country, various ages, social strata, ethnicity, to learn about their aspirations in the role as wife. Culturally, we're different. That's always something that I have to remind myself of, that we have different backgrounds. You go through ups and downs. You go and you grow apart and you grow together. And of course, you have peaks and valleys. And fortunately, I made a good choice. Is there competition between me and my friends and what our weddings will be like? Absolutely. And it extends further into who's marrying who and what kind of job he has, how big your wedding's going to be, how thin are you. You know, it, it, it's definitely there. My marriage was terrific. We were arguing, fighting. I was always working, long hours, difficult business, and my husband was not pleased. Do you feel that you have enough voice in your marriage? Do you feel that you and your husband are growing together? Or do you fear that you and your husband are actually growing apart? I think in terms of the biggest issue in my marriage was definitely division of labor and the fact that things really needed to be discussed and planned, you know, structured in a way that we didn't. I wanted to go to therapy to try to fix the marriage, to try to get the communication going, but he was totally against all kind of therapy. 80% of the women with whom I spoke said that they married for romantic love. 70% of the women said they were disillusioned at some point in the marriage. 80% of the women with whom I spoke said that marriage is a goal, and 65% of the women said they might not marry this man again if given a second chance. The happiest times for me were probably when the kids were younger, when they were little. A lot of barbecues, a lot of birthday parties. They had less money. <laughs> It seemed like we were happier. I see moving in together with my boyfriend as a potential step on a path to more future commitment. I don't see marriage as being a necessary next step. The cornerstone of the marriage, uh, after the, the love and kisses, the affection, uh, the concern for one another, was essentially respect for one another. For young wives today, the chances are better than ever that they will have a successful, satisfying marriage. As a wife, I think the most important thing is being there for my husband and or kids without losing myself along the way. The nine phases of marriage, how to make it, break it, keep it.